Hi guys, I hope all of you have had a lovely holiday season. Now that Christmas is officially over, I'm going to be taking this tree down and I'm going to be turning my books back around. Because I'm a loser who loves to plan stuff out, I actually, on my iPad, <laughs> I took a picture, I, I had a picture from the way my books were organized before, and I want to keep something similar, but not all of it. So I kind of made a mock-up where I would cut out certain shelves and I would move them over to different sides and copy and paste certain elements of the shelves to different shelves and I have a plan. I actually asked a bunch of you over on Instagram a series of questions uh, that have to do with organization for bookshelves because there's a ton of different ways to do it and so I asked a bunch of questions so that you guys have a little bit of input and so that you can help me optimize this whole reorganization process. But anyway, I am super excited to get to this. I, I actually really love organizing things. I think it's so fun. So let's get started. So first things first, obviously, gotta get rid of all the Christmas decorations. So while I'm doing that, I'll go ahead and put up on the screen my little test run. And this is where I, like I said, I kind of copy and pasted the different shelves in different places to get an idea of what I wanted where. And then once I did that, I made a very basic layout for myself. This entire top shelf is gonna be made up of TBR books, both mine and my husband's. So I've mentioned that Luna has chewed up some of the books and some of the books on my TBR for January are the ones that are really torn up. This is Queens of Innis Lear. And this over here, she left enough for us to see it on the spine, but uh, not much. I'm not really sure what to do with these two. I guess I'll put them on the bookshelf. I might keep them in our little TV stand though, because we've got some room in there. So I don't know. I just, I don't want to encourage her <laughs> to see them and then want to, to do this again. While we get a little montage of me reorganizing, turning things around, I'll go ahead and put up the different polls that I had on Instagram where you all got to vote on the different answers for various questions. So I tried to follow that as closely as I could. I'll go ahead and put those up on the screen though while this is going on so you can get an idea of what the questions were and what the end results were. sad because I won't let you chew the books. Okay, so here are the shelves completed. I tried to keep it as much to my plan, my little diagram, as possible as well as adhere to what you all wanted based on the questions that you answered. There were a couple times that I had to stray from that just because of space or because certain things fit into multiple categories, that sort of thing. But for the most part, I kept with what you guys wanted and I was really going for a symmetrical look. So I actually switched where my white Sanderson's are and my husband's Vagabond series. I put those on the edges because it's a lot of books that are the same height that are white. So I thought it looked kind of cool to have them on either side. I'll get a lot closer up for you in just a sec, but I figured we could stay with this overview for a little bit. So along the entire bottom where Luna's butt is partially covering, we have my husband's stuff. So we have in here, this is just Default, we are always going to have his giant comics somewhere on the bottom because of the fact that they weigh a lot. <laughs> we used to try to keep them higher up so you guys could see them a little better, but they weigh a lot and they were actually bending the shelves. These are, for anyone wondering, these are shelves from Walmart's website. So they're not exactly super sturdy, but since I figured now that those are all there and he has put a few more out, 
I told him you should just take all of the bottom shelves entirely to yourself. So I thought that would I thought that would be better. So he's got everything on the bottom and that's where we did. You guys voted to have some books horizontal stacked. So we've got some on that end, some on that end. I did keep true to these middle shelves in here being Marissa Meyer, Neil Schusterman, Lee Bardugo, and V.E. Schwab. And I have some of those books are TBR books, so they could go in other shelves because I actually separated my TBR stuff. But you guys voted to try and keep things together as much as possible, and I wanted to do that also. So that's why we have those there, even though some of them are unread, and even though one of the things I asked was, should I have unread books in the frame when I'm filming? Because usually you see these middle shelves. You guys said, yeah, totally fine to have unread books. The reason I was hesitant is because I do feel really bad when people want to talk about books they see on my shelves, but I haven't actually gotten around to them yet. But I, for the most part, just have read books in view with a, a couple exceptions in some of these middle ones. To either side of that, we have manga series. These are primarily my husband's, so kind of sticking with my husband's being down this way, across, and then up again. So he's got his Blade of the Immortal collection over here. He just got the rest of it for Christmas. And then we have Vinland Saga, which technically is his because he's the one that started reading it first, but I love it. It's so good. You guys should check it out. One of the slight exceptions to the rule here for me where you guys said I should keep books by the same author together would be when I have a lot of different editions, which I have a lot of different editions of Sanderson stuff and I have some different editions of some Witcher stuff as well. I'll get closer up so you guys can see those editions. But like I said before, I decided to put all the White Sandersons over here so that they would be kind of paralleled with this over here. And then in the middle, I have most of the American editions actually, along with some of my <laughs> Russian and Polish editions. It's like my shelf for that specific stuff because I also have my Polish Witcher books. There wasn't enough room to then keep, I have some other Witcher books right up there. Didn't have enough room to put them on the same shelf if I was gonna keep the Sandersons mostly together. But that's kind of like my foreign edition shelf with a few exceptions, as well as a continuation of Sanderson and then Witcher's boop right up there. So it's kind of still together. I also really wanted those shelves to be a lot of books that I really love because when you guys are looking at the background, I want you to kind of see the things that I really love. I really do love a lot of Sanderson's books. I do love Witcher. I ended up really adoring the Laney Taylor duology of Strange the Dreamer. I really like the Red Rising Trilogy, it gets a lot of hate <laughs> nowadays, but I wanted you guys to see primarily the books that mean a lot to me, right there, dead center. And above that, we have some other books that I really enjoy, kind of have some mix of young adult and adult. That was another thing I asked, should I have this mixed together or separated? You guys said together, which made organizing so much easier, so thank you for voting that way. But we've got some that I've really enjoyed up here, books again that I've primarily read with a few exceptions. I've got a couple where I've read the first but not the rest of the series and hoping to fix that this year, but the main focus with this middle chunk was books I love. Along the edges here and here, those are a little different, but I'm really excited about those. So over here we have a little bit of a mix. Those are TBR books, but specifically they are books that I am doing buddy reads with all of you for throughout this year. If you want more details about that, I'll link my buddy reading video. And then my book of the month books are up here because there wasn't enough books to, there weren't enough books to cover that entire shelf. So I put my book of the month books there. They're the same size. That's another thing you guys voted for was to try to keep books of the same size together. So I tried to do that right there because book of the month books, they always are their own size. They have the little emblem at the top. So I thought it looked I thought it looked nice and orderly. This shelf over here is going to constantly be changing because it is our currently reading or books that we think we'll be picking up fairly soon, library books or books we're wanting to take into our local used bookstores. So that shelf always going to be changing around. But the damaged books I mentioned from before, that Luna who's right over there, she destroyed those books. But I didn't think they looked too bad. I took a bobby pin and pinned all the light we cannot see so it's not just hanging. Lastly, we have some books that I'm hoping to get to this year, as well as some books my husband's hoping to get to this year along the entire top. I did ask if I should keep TBR books out here or just keep them somewhere separate. Like we have a little TBR cart is what a lot of people call them, a little utility cart that's kind of serving as my husband's nightstand. But we do keep some books on there. So I asked you guys, hey, should the books be in the frame that are unread 
or should they be over there? And you guys said, no, go ahead, put them on the shelves. So I dedicated this entire top row to being the books we want to read this year. And my husband's are mostly over there. And then stuff I have is mostly over here. I have read some of the books, but some of them are series that I'm hoping to finish. So I just put all the series up there. Now that you've just been staring at the same shot for a really long time, do a little tour of all the individual shelves. a note about some of the shelves some things <laughs> might change here pretty soon because got some stuff for Christmas some of it I've already incorporated but some of it I haven't had the chance to figure out where it's gonna go probably would have been a good idea to do that when I was organizing the books but sometimes I'm dumb I mentioned that the top is primarily things that I'm wanting to try and get to this year and over here we have library books or books we're currently reading so these might change as some new releases come out because there's definitely a lot of books I want to get to that either they're new releases coming out this year or I just don't own them. So you might see some new additions here and there either from the library or <laughs> local used bookstores. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun reorganizing it. A lot of fun, way too much fun, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you later. Bye.